Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saints Hero. If you are new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It's that time of the week again. It's time for the weekend top and bottom. So, here's how we do this. We go by the elements. Um, since it is now Taurus season, we will start with Earth. So we'll go Earth, Air, Water, Fire. Sorry, fire signs, you gotta go last this round. Anywho, real easy, just a simple spread. Try to go as quick as possible so I don't put you guys to sleep. It's just a little sneak peek of what you might be able to expect out of this weekend. So, further ado, let me get this out of the way. We will start the shuffle for the earth signs and see what we got going on. It does go by the elements. All readings will be general. It is your free will to do whatever you choose to do. If it doesn't resonate, it's not your message. It's that simple. Time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. And these cards don't want to shuffle this morning. I did take a couple of days off just to kind of recharge because... Tuesday was a little bit of a killer, not going to lie. <laughs> and Wednesday was an extremely long day at work. And yesterday I had a migraine all day. So no content got done. I am sorry. When my head feels like a, a kernel of popcorn that's ready to explode any second, I just, I can't read the cards. I'm sorry. And I felt like that all day. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. One more shuffle and I think we'll have it. Top of the deck, five of wands reversed, bottom of the deck. Death in the reverse, okay. Possibility of coming out of a state of conflict with someone, but I don't see the situation really changing. So I think it may just be a situation of making noise stop. If that makes any sense to anybody? All right, top of the deck, bottom of the deck. Three of Cups in the Upright, Four of Pentacles in the Upright for the past. So, possibility of a reunion, family togetherness, things of that nature, happiness, celebration. But, Four of Pentacles, somebody's holding something back. Could be you, could be the person you're dealing with. Some, some things not being expressed here. Alright. Right now. Top of the deck. Bottom of the deck. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, King of Pentacles in the upright. We got a mismatched pair here. Hmm. Clinginess, neediness, codependency, high maintenance. On one side. The other side, the King of Pentacles, large, in charge, possibly slightly overbearing, but taking care of business. Hmm. May have to throw a clarifier on that. The energies are not even here. Somebody's codependent, somebody's letting it happen. If that makes any sense to anybody. Top of the deck, bottom of the deck. Emperor in the reverse, high priestess in the reverse. Hmm. Out of control energy. Vulnerable. 
not in charge. High Priestess. Somebody's pretty egotistical, huh? Okay. Let's start clarifying. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed here? Seven of Pentacles in the upright, Princess of Pentacles in the upright. Patiently waiting, biding their time. Slow moving, something slow moving. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Prince of Wands. Oh my. Someone may be holding back. I don't know who would ever put themselves in a situation for whoever this is resonating with. Someone is holding back just to keep someone around when they know the other person's playing around. But the other person takes very good care of them. You're taking care of. This is what I'm gathering here. I don't think you're fighting about it anymore, but things aren't going to change. I don't think this Three of Cups up here is celebration and unity. I think it's a third party situation potentially coming to the surface. And somebody is holding back how they feel about it or holding back that they know about it. Again, I don't know who this is resonating with, but this is just what I'm picking up here. Why is the Emperor reversed here? Because this is what's going to happen this weekend. On top of just making noise stop. Three of Pentacles in the upright. Hanged man in the upright. Accepting the fate of the situation. There's that second three. Someone who's vulnerable, someone who's needy, someone who's not large in charge. I'm going to throw another one on that. I 
I think someone's just trying to save face and hold it together at this point. Four of Cups in the upright. Well, here's the silver lining. Something is going to try to hand you a cup. Someone. Why is the High Priestess reversed here? The High Priestess reversed it can represent secrets coming to the surface. It can represent someone being extremely egotistical. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh my. Taking the house plan out back. Maybe the fighting's going to stop because someone realizes things aren't going to change. Oh, I have a slider. Ace of Wands. Fast moving energy, communication. I think things are going to come to the surface this weekend, Earth Signs. This cup here in the Four of Cups, maybe the cup of self love. I think some of you may come to the realization this weekend that you love your you love yourselves more than this. I don't like this. I don't judge. It's not my journey. You do what you need to do. But you really need to love yourself more than this if you want to hear Big Mama Sag talk. Why on earth would you stay? I'm going to shut up now and just give you your advice. I know I wouldn't stay. Ten of Cups and the Five of Pentacles reversed. Yo! Recording, what's up? When you're done, can you please give me some chocolate? Yup, yup, I'll be right out. Okay? He just woke up. Ten of Cups in the upright, Five of Pentacles in the reverse. There is sunshine and rainbows. There is a silver lining. Do not wait for someone to commit. Love yourself first. There's a beautiful, wonderful world of happiness out there with someone who loves you, who's going to want to commit to you, who's going to let you be the center of their world. You have to love yourself enough to go out and find it. Yeah, they're a provider. They take care of you. But making you feel dependent is not taking care of you. Now, is it? I think somebody's pulling strings here. I didn't get the Magician in the reverse. I didn't get the Puppet Master card, but... Mm, 
Again, you don't have to do what the cards say. It doesn't have to play out like it says it's going to play out. But I think this weekend things may come to a head. Do what you want. Wow, that was deep. Okay. Earth. Air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That wasn't a good shuffle. We're going to do one more. Three of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Foundations being laid. Communications, conversations, coming together. Sherlock Holmes. Hmm, I might have to get a clarifier on that Sherlock Holmes card, but... Knight of Swords popped out. It could be good, could be bad. We'll see what else comes out. Seven of Swords and the Chariot. Someone was being sneaky. And with this chariot card, as, as it is depicted, which way do you go? What do you do? I don't see this chariot as a card of forward movement. I see this chariot card as a card of, oh crap. I don't know if you were the one being sneaky and you got caught, or you caught someone being sneaky and you don't know what to do about it. I don't know. This might be work-related. I don't know. Top of the deck. Bottom of the deck. The moon card and the nine of swords in the upright. Things coming to light. Things being illuminated. And Perception's still skewed, though. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors going on here. And I think somebody is getting all bat crap bonkers about it. It's consuming someone. It could be you. I think you know the truth about something and you're not quite sure what to do. Top of the deck. Bottom of the deck. Nine of Cups. And the Ace of Wands. Emotional fulfillment and forward movement. Let's clarify, shall we? Alright, I gotta know, why is the Knight of Swords here? Six of Wands? Hmm. I think someone got a bit cocky. First thought popped into my head. Somebody got cocky. High Priestess in the reverse.
Maybe this person has a bit of an ego problem. We're not going to go into that card any farther. Cocky, ego problems, secrets being revealed. Oh, what? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Knight of Cups and the Three of Swords. Heartbreak and non-committal energy. Hmm. Well. Queen of Wands. A little bit of a possibility of a little bit of something something being involved. I don't need to say what that little something something is. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you don't, send me an email and I'll explain it to you. Why is the chariot here? The magician. That's a loaded, loaded card right now. I don't think you're involved in this. I, I think you just know about it. And you're not sure if you should say anything. Because you hold a lot of power in that little secret, don't you? You do. You, you a lot of power. But there's going to be a backlash. Why is the moon here? Page of Swords. You want so bad. So bad to say something. I don't need to clarify the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Nine of Pentacles. That's odd. Emotional fulfillment. Somebody's good on their own. I need to throw another card on that. world. <coughs> Judgment.
I'm not getting a release the burden card. coughing fit here. I'm sorry. I think this weekend you make peace with it. I think you may decide to use the secret to your advantage somehow. Not quite sure how. With this nine of pentacles. I think it's brought to a close this weekend without you having to say anything. I'm not quite sure. What is this judgment reversed? of cups reversed. Oh boy. Secrets being revealed. Not directly involving you, I don't believe. This is what happens when you get sucked into other people's stuff. This comes to a close this weekend. For those of you who have kept your mouth shut, I think you end up regretting not saying anything. And I don't know, this is a split story. Because I see regret for some of you. Because this comes back around to bite you. But it's almost a relief that it's coming to an end. Why is the Ace of Wands here for the outcome? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Something grinds to a halt after this. Rejection of an apology, possibly. Alright, I dropped that. It didn't come out on its own. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Letting go, moving forward. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? I'm hearing apology. Temperance, okay. And the Four of Swords, laying it to rest. Allowing energies to flow properly again. I think the anxiety grinds to a halt and you're able to move forward once you let go. 
and you're able to put it to the rest and energy just flows again there's a lot you know and you want to say something but you don't and I think this weekend it just all comes to a stop okay okay fair enough I'm gonna get your advice King of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> Biding one's time. Releasing the burden, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands. I think you've been carrying this secret for a while. And I think it's time to release that burden. It may be argumentative. It may be explosive. And you... I dare say you may even... It's time to release the burden. You've waited long enough. Yep. King of Swords, Two of Swords. It's time to stop kicking the ball around and make a logical head over heart decision. It's going to hurt, but it's got to be done. You have to release this. You've carried this long enough. Sometimes you have to rip somebody's world apart to save them. Does that make sense? If you have a friend that's stuck in a situation that they probably shouldn't be in, and you know something, I'm not saying be a tattletale. Don't carry that burden. You could possibly be torn between two friends. And you gotta narc one of them out. I would never in a million years say be a narc, but if this is having you all bat poop bonkers and this is keeping you up at night and this is that huge, um, put yourself in their shoes. If it's something you would want to know, tell them. Or... Or don't listen to the cards. Do whatever you want to do. It's your journey. I have to actually split this into two parts. I apologize. I have to go deal with my son. So this is going to be two separate videos. So water signs, fire signs. I will catch you in the next video. I apologize. Catch you in a bit.